Hello friends! My name is Tracy Schlepphorst and I am the author of Emotion Belly Books. Some of you may have seen these characters and these books around town because I live right here in Quincy, Illinois, as I know most of you do. There are three books in the Emotion Belly Book series. The first book is Eden and Her Happy. The second book is Henry and His Manners. And the third book is Eden and Her Joy. I also have a number of journals and things that you can use to write your own stories as well. So if you see this one, it says My Emotion Belly Story. And then in the little cloud here, I have handwritten Ripley's reviews because I am working on book number four and the star of book number four is taking a little nap right over there. Ripley, Ripley, say hi, say hi to your friend. Yes, very good. So Ripley is my golden doodle and uh, the inspiration for book number four. And on the front of this, it says Ripley's Reviews because we have been reviewing many books uh, together and we are come, trying to come up with a great story for you uh, with Ripley. I have this fun little t-shirt on that also shows all of the emotions. So let's just take a minute and talk about some of the different feelings that we have inside of us. So first you'll notice this little green one here at the top. Does anybody know what that green one is? If you said confused or frustrated, you are correct. The one below it, this purple face, is what I call just our normal natural face. Because sometimes we're not feeling a really big emotion of any sort. Sometimes we just feel what we feel. We just feel kind of normal. So we created just the natural, normal resting face. Over here at the bottom, you'll see an orange face. And we call that our shocked, our scared face. And then we have our red face, which I have upside down on my t-shirt. It's our angry face. And then there's the blue face, and I'm sure you guessed what that one is, and that is our sad face. And in the middle, I have the biggest face, which is the happy face, because that's what we all want to feel the most of. The book that I'm going to read to you today is called Henry and His Manners. And Henry and His Manners comes with this fun little manners doll. It actually says manners on the back. And it's a way to remind you the importance of manners. So if you were to have this little manner style when you went out to dinner or um, you had to go to a friend's house or even at night you can snuggle close with manners and he's to remind you of the importance of taking care of yourself and taking care of those around you. Of being kind to yourself and being kind to the people that are around you. And there's a couple of other things uh, that I would like you to know about the book before I start the reading. But as you go through the pages, as you see the pages of Henry and his manners, I want you to look for Mr. Manners and make sure that you can find Mr. Manners on the page. I want you to look at Henry's belly and see what is his center emotion and how that center emotion is affected by what is happening in the story. And then I also want to see if you can find the hidden smiley faces that are on some of the pages throughout the book. All right, so sit back and enjoy as you listen to and follow along with the pages of Henry and his manners. Henry and his manners. Henry and his manners by Tracy Schlepphorst, illustrated by Charlie Martin. When Henry woke up, he left his manners in bed. He walked right past the bathroom. Henry, did you forget something? Go back upstairs and brush your teeth and hair, demanded his mom. 
He didn't say please or thank you at breakfast. He didn't even tell his mom goodbye when he left for school. Good morning, Henry, said the bus driver. Henry said nothing and plopped down in his seat. When the bus arrived at school, Henry pushed his way to the front. In the classroom, he kept shouting out the answers. Henry, have you forgotten your manners? asked his teacher. I'm right here, yelled his manners. Then Henry let out a huge toot. It caused him to laugh out loud. Henry, said the teacher, please excuse yourself. As the class took their bathroom break, Henry skipped washing his hands. The teacher sent him back. At lunch, Henry didn't bother to use a fork. He even grabbed food off of his friend's plate. And then Henry sneezed and didn't cover his mouth. Without his manners, he couldn't seem to do anything right. At recess, Henry kicked the soccer ball over the fence, blocked the slide so no one could go down, and ran onto the basketball court. Henry shouted the teacher, you need to remember your manners right now. Henry, here I am, said his manners. Now that his manners were back, he realized how badly he had been behaving. Henry wasn't bad, he just needed to remember his manners. I'm glad you found your manners, said his teacher. They are very important. The end. Please visit my website at www.emotionbellybooks.com to learn how you can purchase a signed copy of Henry and His Manners. Books are also available on Amazon. Hello, welcome back. Did you enjoy the story? Did you look for the hidden smiley faces and find some throughout the pages as I was reading the book to you? So let me show you one of my favorite uh, smiley faces and the ones that people seem to notice first are the ones on the light over the door. Did you see that one? There's also one um, that's hidden, oh, on the bees' faces. Did you see that all the bees' faces are smiley faces? It was super fun to hide the smiley faces throughout the pages of Henry and his manners. The illustrator and I, Charlie Martin, we had a great time putting all of that together. Did you also see some of the silly things that Manners did? Like on this page, for instance, that Manners was in the trash can because Henry literally was not paying any attention to him. And did you see where Manners, um, oh, hold on, let me find this page. Oh, when Henry sneezes and Mr. Manners has an umbrella, a mask, a snorkel, and boots on because he doesn't want to get sneezed on by Henry. And isn't that just like us? No one wants to get coughed or sneezed on by our friends. And especially now, we understand the importance of not spreading our germs. And that is just good manners. I also, before we go, want to make sure that you understand a really, really important part of this book. 
And that really, really important part of this book is that manners is a choice. Every day when you wake up, you have a choice about the way you're going to treat yourself and the way that you're gonna treat the people around you. And so as Henry's going through his day and he doesn't have his manners and he makes all kinds of really crazy choices about things because he doesn't know what to do without his manners, at the end, when he's finally able to see his manners, these words are really what motivated me to write the book. And that is, now that his manners were back, he realized how badly he'd been behaving. Henry wasn't bad, he just needed to remember his manners. And I want you to understand that we all make bad choices from time to time. And we all do bad things. Everybody does. Your teachers do, your parents do. Everybody makes bad choices. But that doesn't make you a bad person. And every hour, every minute of every day, you can do an emotion check. You can do a behavior check. You can check yourself out and see what it is that you're feeling at that time. And if it's not a good feeling and it's not a feeling that you wanna have, then you can figure out what part of it you can change. And sometimes you can change that by remembering Mr. Manners, remembering the messages that Mr. Manners brings to you and by giving yourself some good thoughts and by treating other people around you with lots and lots of kindness and respect. All right, well, thank you so much for joining me for my story. And if you love this story, I would love to hear from you. You, with your parents' help, you can reach out to me on Facebook, and you're also welcome to always send me emails at emotionbellybooks.com. All right, thanks.